Hello, <clears throat> sorry, hello and welcome to the Bento Blitz show. I hope you're all doing right on this Sunday afternoon, at least on my end in Europe. So let's get started and uh, no, that is wrong actually. Let's do this. Yeah, okay. This is still the Kevin game that I can, of course, abort. And um, who is challenging me? Let me check. Teja, we have played quite a bit, but he's around so often, so let's play. I've got black. I hope you're all fine and the sound is on. I hope the picture is all right. Looks looks okay in my mind. And Teja is not playing, but he's certainly here. Yeah, there he goes. So play a Sicilian. Maybe something offbeat. Let's go A6. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, so we get a Khan variation. Huh. This is not so commonly seen because black has a very clear counter play. Okay, just goes back, interesting. I have some pressure now here on the center what about the knight on c6? I can definitely, with knight c6, challenge the d4 knight. And um, this is a tricky situation. I can take with both pawns, b takes and d takes. And they're both fine. Uh, let's take with the d pawn. I'd like to play like this here with e5. And he pushes me away. Yeah, I guess to c5. Yeah, the bishop is on a good diagonal. And maybe I can put it on a7, my trademark bishop post, as somebody has remarked in the past. I play this very often. Okay, prevent any bishop g5. I wonder if... Uh, no, g5 is probably crazy. g5, g4. Okay, let's continue to develop. I guess he has bishop e3 on his mind. Maybe that is the reasoning behind rook e1. That could be. Knight a4 is also possible. And then maybe set the pawns into motion. No, he wants to trade. Okay. Hmm. Now you can go knight d7 or just take it. Okay, I go knight d7, I cover the bishop, it was hanging. All right, so yeah, here there's not a big choice. Oh. I could I could play bishop e7, that is not totally terrible. And then, tr then kick the knight back. Maybe this is a bit more interesting. Then trading everything here. Against b4, I have b5. I um, tend to play... Um, if there are challenges by players who I never played before, I take them with... Uh, this is a very difficult word. Priority for me. Um, but I also play people I have played before. I, I try to mix it. And who on earth is calling me in the middle of a banter blitz show? Hmm. Unknown number. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> So I finally went bishop c5 trying to trade. My issue was um, I was a little bit concerned that he maybe sacrifices on h6 if I castle kingside. Yeah, this I anticipated. I thought that after taking and queen g5, I should be fine. I thought rook takes, but maybe he wants to take with the queen. Okay, 
So now queen g5, activating the queen, and of course the trade would be quite comfortable for me. Queen g5, h takes g5 is a clear case of uh, a good double pawn. I play both 3 and 5 minutes, just challenge me to what you prefer. Interesting cases. Got a call again. What is that? <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. So, um, Rook D one. So, okay. Let's trade, and now maybe knight b6, trying to play knight c4. This is a case where I don't mind to trade one rook, one rook. Just one rook. because I have king to e7 coming. So the king is um, completely sufficient to control all the entry squares. And then you can use the rook that is remaining for potential um, active ideas. I would like to, if possible, do something based on his bishop. The bishop is not so great. He should probably go bishop g4 in this position and simply trade it off. Yeah, bishop g4 is certainly reasonable. And he plays it, okay. Yeah, okay. I can let him take, or should I take him myself? Maybe I can do something with the double pawn at some point. I mean, maybe I can use um, these as targets. Okay, this idea is a4, right? I want to go a4. Knight g3, I have g6, so let's do this. Now threatening to take on b3 and take on a3. The three minute challenge is completely fine. Now if he goes b4, I have knight c4. I have to slowly um, improve my position. So knight to c5 maybe. Okay. I have to adjust again. Knight to c4 is definitely um, a step in the right <laughs> in the right direction. But it's not clear that I'm really having much. The knight is also not bad here on d3 for white, but he, he is tied to let's cover e5. He is tied to the a3 pawn. Maybe h5. Let's do this. And now I can take here. It's back. Now e4 is weakish. And I attack it. Now e4 is hanging. King f3, there's knight d2 check. And this looks like white is losing something. Losing a pawn now. Yeah. Yeah. 
yeah, grinding away a win in this position. It was not much, but uh, I had some ideas and uh, ultimately won an decisive pawn. Thanks again for playing Teja. Now, um, who is challenging me? Real Freilos. Real Freilos. <laughs> so, okay. Let's see. Ah. By the way, today I'm actually using the Peter Swidler mug. Yeah, that was a point of discussion in a, in a recent show that I have such a coffee mug but never use it. And I decided to change that. Makes no sense if you don't use it. Yeah, it's a good move. Bishop e5, stopping e5. Yeah, I came to the conclusion that uh, I should use the mug when I when I saw a video earlier today over breakfast, and uh, one of my hobbies besides chess is uh, watches, and there is this term of amongst watch collectors and watch fans of uh, the so-called safe queen that is the watch that you have that is never leaving the safe you never wear it and uh, that makes really no sense i mean it sometimes makes sense to not wear a watch all the time but uh, if you can use it why don't you um okay there's a question by the fighter 360 how long did it take me to become an im and uh, and do you need to know lots of theory to become one um it took me um quite a long time it took me quite a long time i had the the, the playing a level for much longer than it took me to actually get the title i had the that's a tricky move i had the rating of 2400 plus already since the late 1990s and i also had norms but i had i lacked one norm i needed one more norm and um, this final international master norm I only scored in ugh, what a move in 2011, and so it it was a long time span. And I got the title in 2012. And uh, 2012 uh, was 38. So this is pretty uh, a pretty long time if you consider that I had the playing level for um, for close to um, 15, 16 years or something like that. I read the YouTube chats, yes. I read all the chats. I try to respond to all the chats, but <laughs> I don't manage. <laughs> don't manage all the time. Knight will come to f5, unfortunately. Maybe f4 even by white. Huh? Try to trade queens. I have to speed up also. I play. I made a really, really debatable decision by allowing the bishop on h8. I, I read all three chats. Yeah. What? No, they're not cheaters, and they're not outplaying me. Neither. Somebody wrote those eighteen hundreds are outplaying me. I, I don't see that. Not in the game before. Not in this game. And they're also not cheaters. The, the main problem in this position is my time deficit. Try 
try to win the pawn on h6, but it's difficult. White's main issue here is that the knight is so bad. Try to regroup and win that pawn ultimately. White's knight is a totally dead piece. So finally I win that pawn. The bishop is bad, yeah, but as they say, the worst bishop is still better than the best knight. That's not totally true, but uh, there's a grain of truth to that. <laughs> okay. Um, no, I'm currently not offering chess lessons, there's a question on the YouTube chat. I'm completely dedicated uh, to writing writing courses, doing videos. I recorded a couple of hours of video today for chess courses. Um, now, playing serious Llama, let's go from Turkey. There's a question, if someone played for a couple of years, then stopped and got to about 1700, then stopped, Till they were 40, can they still get to I am? Realistically, probably not. It is um it is fairly difficult to to get this title still. And um it is really if you if you go for a huge improvement in your 40s, it is difficult. You have other obligations usually, and um not just uh, chess. And um, you're also just not as mentally um, proficient as you are as a, as a kid. You just don't learn that quickly. Okay, this is not a really good position. I played a somewhat odd King's Indian mm, type of mix, not so good. Not so good, really. How do we get this sorted? Hmm. Kind of play waiting moves because I don't have a clear idea what to do. Hmm. Not a nice position, really. The serious llama did a good job here. Risky move, really. Oh. My queen doesn't have many squares. I, I tried to provoke him with bishop f5. No, that's not the same opponent. I'm switching. And I usually, per show, only play persons uh, one time. Okay. Um, yeah, I don't like my position. Bishop f5. There is probably even e4 coming. And then e5. Really not nice. My position is not good at all. This one. Yeah. Knight d2, knight b3 is certainly an idea. I have to, at the right moment, maybe capture on d4. Uh, in the recent 12 hour bantathon, I only played th three hours, I think. So it was possible to survive it. Okay, my knight here is not well placed. <laughs> not well placed at all. It looks really bad on a8, but maybe I can come to e6 later, c7, e6. Not a good position, but well, I'm not in immediate trouble, I hope. It's still fairly resilient. He could go c5 though. This is really not a good game by me. Could have taken on c4. Hmm. That is actually true. I could have taken on c4. Okay. He played knight d4 here. Ouch. <laughs> okay, let me, ah, I need to 
get to a more active seat sitting position yeah i cannot play like magnus does i was like sitting there like i don't know it's impossible for me to even describe but he's sitting there in those online tournaments like he's like yeah <laughs> and uh, i cannot do that Okay, I need to trade some pieces here after having misplaced them. Now trade them. I could play B5. Yeah, I thought it was funny that Magnus was wearing shorts yesterday. Um, what I found in particular, what I found really funny is like if you, um, this is um, the, the tournament, yeah, um, that was played yesterday, that clutch chess tournament. It is um, one of those tournaments um, of the St. Louis Chess Club and the sponsored Rex Singfield, um, who's uh, giving all the money for that event, um, He's also wearing shorts frequently, yeah. Even when he is interviewed in uh, during like U.S. championships, yeah, he's like casually dressed and he wears shorts very often. And it was uh, really really funny <laughs> to see that Magnus is going for the same look. And um, I think somebody said like, uh, "Is that actually okay with the contract that he is dressing like that?" And I was just thinking, okay, well if. Rex Singfield, the sponsor, can do that. Probably the world champion is, should also be allowed. Okay, now I can go d5 now, right? Winning some material. One pawn. Yeah, finally, he's giving me something, probably the pawn. Here we go. There was a question, what do I think about Hikaru? Um, this is a very um, general question. Like as a chess player, as a streamer, as a personality. Um, let me do this. the rook yeah c2 bishop b2 should win material he's got e5 though mm, nah. best better check first oh okay so c2 then intending bishop b2 which is stopped okay How do we win this? Like rook to d1, probably. Yeah. Rook to d1. So, yeah, I could go bishop b2, I know, but... Can I go rook d1 now? It, it should win material, right? It's a piece. I just wonder if I can do something quicker. No. When does the world championship start? I don't know. It is probably not going to happen um, in late 2020. But uh, I don't think anybody has any clearer information about that there's a check here right so it's a bit easier that i win a full rook 
So, thanks for the game Serious Llama. Okay, let's play this guy, new opponent. JSVM. I have not read all the books. Um, lots of chess books are not actually read. Their reference works. I have most of the opening books, for example, I'm um, I'm, us I'm using for my opening courses, the ones that I write myself for reference, for example, to check what other authors think about um, ideas or you also have to uh, make sure that you um, um, you make you need to make sure that you have to um, to check the recommendations that other authors have against your ideas. For example, um, if I make a 1D4 repertoire book and uh, I have an idea against the King's Indian, I have to check what um, an expert says for the black side or other way around. Um, interesting. I can take b5 here, right? It is um, okay for me anyway, but b5 is interesting to take. It's a bit uncommon. But getting the bishop pair cannot be bad, you really hear? Um, yeah, there is a question about the recent rise of chess on Twitch. I think it's excellent and um, I really see no issue at all um, about having uh, many streamers on board who are coming from, from other games. Why not um, have those people play chess. I think it's remarkable how many there are actually. I um, regularly check Twitch almost on a daily basis in the evening hours when I'm basically um, done with my work. Yeah, I sometimes check what's going on on Twitch. And um, I think it's remarkable how much chess is on. And really often by, um, by uh, persons that are not coming from a chess background, um, I really see nothing um, bad about that. There sometimes is a discussion um, that this, um, I don't know, that this, there's something bad about that. I really don't see what that possibly um, could be. Chess getting more exposure um, should be positive. Okay, now, um, F6 is a very, very um, committal move. I wanted to castle queenside, but now I see that a7 is hanging. Okay, I have queen a5 then, so I can castle queenside. It's pretty, uh, pretty weird stuff. Yeah, I played this, the Magnus line, h5. It's a bit of a troll line, but it's fun. It leads to totally wacky positions. I couldn't play g5 because f6 is hanging. Otherwise, I would love to do that. Absolutely. So white is um, basically afraid to get checkmated. <laughs> yeah, understandably. I also would be afraid to get checkmated. Now, if I take on b3, e6 and a7 is hanging. He might, however, take on e6. Hmm, interesting. Uh, I can take there, take there, take f3. Hmm. Yeah, and there are probably various ways to be fine, but I don't, I don't know what the best way to play is. Hmm. 
Okay, I'm going to. I'm, I'm doing it in a in a simple fashion. Rook takes e6 now is possible. Yeah, I think um, Hikaru rightly um, gets lots of uh, positive feedback for um, getting so many um, people on board uh, doing chess. Um, this is uh, totally deserved. I mean, sometimes... Um, if people write about his um, current Twitch uh, exposure, let's say, um, the, like he's doing so much for chess and so on, this is definitely true. I would think it's um, it is um, uh, positive for chess, but we shouldn't forget that he's also earning an ungodly amount of money with that. So it is his job essentially what he's doing there. He's not like. Uh, donating millions to charity or so yeah we need to be realis realistic there that's um, something that is not uh, often mentioned but it's definitely a case where he's doing something that is uh, good for him like he's uh, certainly earning good money and it's also good for chess and this is the best possible um, best possible combination of course so let's check here I should win a pawn eh? somewhere I should win a pawn huh I didn't see that move coming bishop c6 maybe pin and win hopefully my bishops are very strong. Yeah, I could have taken on h3, but this is like, what are you doing now with white? My bishops here are fantastic. <laughs> yeah, I want to win more than a pawn. How does he save this? Save the knight? Bishop pair strong. Ah, that's an interesting move. Wants to play. Um, wants to um, play rook a8 if I take it. Still doesn't change anything, right? This, 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 this. No. He still has the same pinning problem. He cannot go away here. Yeah, it's on the long diagonal. I threaten to take on g4. If he takes g4, I win a piece. No way for him to get out of this. Oh, wait. Wait. Just a moment. Take, take, take. Ah, oh, this is the easiest. Yeah, let's take it. This one. This one. And now I'm winning easily in the king and pawn ending. Or am I? I should, huh? The protected passer is enough. Um, wait, king, 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 three. This is actually still some work. What have I done here? Quite stupid, huh? That I still have to play this now. Ah! 
Oh my god, that was so idiotic. The king at pawn ending is completely winning. And I, I, I totally squandered that away. Oh my god. And after the way the game went, this is that's particularly ridiculous. Hmm. So I mean, it's okay until here. Yeah, I just want to check how I screwed that up. Did I did I lose a tempo somewhere? Like this, 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 this. Um. can give the first check, but I have no force. That, that's really awful. I mean, it was tons of winning continuations, but the one that I played should be totally enough. Yeah, just king c6 is much easier. That is just much easier. King c6, super easy now. I can... King moves, I go king c5 and b4. That is a super easy win. Yeah, thanks for the game. GVSM. Now, it, it shouldn't be a draw. That was just my stupidity. So, let's play Kenny. Oops. I at least I clicked. I clicked. There were probably other wins, but uh, king c6 was very simple. d5 by Kenny. Let's go e3. Yeah, that um, mark is signed by Peter Swidler, but it's not designed to keep the coffee warm for more than half an hour. I should drink the coffee quicker. So, giving me the bishop pair, Kenny is. Let's do something here. Woo! A loud boo. E3 is not passive, really. That's currently what they all play, having stuff like that in mind. I don't think this is particularly passive. It helped that he gave me g7 right away, for, of course, but so I can take with the bishop or with the pawn. Let's take with the pawn. Yeah, how do we win now? Is there something funny here? No, I guess not. How do I get rid of the rook here? It would be nice. I don't see how though. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, I can simply take this here, I think. Take yet another pawn. And threaten queen g6. What is a bit off here is my, my development is not so good. Um, queen f4 maybe? Queen has to move. Yeah, this e3 move is a, is a development of recent years that this is actually quite interesting. Often playing quick b3, bishop b2 and then often going for g4, h4, things like that. And um, this is quite interesting, in fact. Okay, now, um, do I trade queens here? Yeah, let's do that. I'm, I mean, I'm so much better here on the other side of the board that this should be a good way to play. Let's go h5. <sighs> what? Bishop takes e5 was winning something? Um, yeah, my rook is also hanging. I don't know. Bishop takes, queen takes. Uh, black is attacking my rook. Okay, now in the game, I have to be a little bit quicker, actually. 
So I'll push the knight back. Yeah, he's trying to get uh, his pawn back probably with knight to f7. Let me continue here. Return one pawn. I still am two pawns up, so. F4. Knight goes back to h7. Okay, knight g5. Connected passes are strong, hopefully. <laughs> I only have 30 something seconds, that is uh, a thing. Right. Mm, that's made up. Huh? Yeah, thanks for the game, Kenny. All right. So, um, who else is challenging me? Is there somebody totally new? Mo Letzi from South Africa. Let's play. Um, I can go maybe c4. Let's just mix it up with the first moves. I should have signed Max with my own signature. That would be good. Uh, okay, so let's play the Mikenas variation here of the English opening. I'm trying to grab lots of space in the center. Yeah, and now d4 is an interesting pawn sacrifice. Black now can take on e5 and should take on e5. Oh, he doesn't do that. Interesting. Hmm. Now, do we play knight b3 or take on c6? I think I'll take on c6 simply because of um, the tempo. I don't want to spend more time and the move queen g4 is going to be uh, tricky. There's a, um, a discussion in the, um, in the chat on the Chess24 website about mods. Um, and uh, Dutch defender says he would be would not be a good mod. Uh, I always think that uh, something that I uh, never, never, ever should do is um, is uh, being a, a referee in football. I mean, in soccer, if you're from the U.S., because I would probably send off both complete teams <laughs> for for being uh, for being uh, just uh, yeah like constantly complaining stuff like that okay um i won the game due to a disconnection so that's a bit of a shame the position is interesting okay oops who else is challenging me there's a request for me to play the scandinavian defense that is interesting i'm not sure that i ever played it on a stream uh, Harry Ken is new. Okay. So D5, like the Scandi. I can I can do that. Scandinavian is not so bad, but it's not an opening that I have played. 
much, maybe like three games in tournament chess or so. Something like that. Harry is not playing though. Maybe he thinks about playing h4 on move one. Harry the h pawn. I think I can tease that in the nearest future something with the H pawn is going to be on his website near you. I'm not going to say much more. Now Felix is challenging me. I've got white. Let's go d4. The fighter is also challenging me. Okay. What about you now, Felix? It's not playing. I can play something funky. He's not there, I think. So if you are there and somehow uh, I'm not able to accept just do that next time. Why is my rating so low? Did I already lose in this uh, session? I don't remember. I mean, I, t I tend to do stupid stuff, <laughs> but did I already do stupid stuff today? Springy, Spingy Legna. Spingy Legna. Okay. I had a draw, yeah? Hmm, still. Yeah. When Chess24 has the new... I should actually make a move. Yeah, I'm white. Um, has the new play zone out, the new design. I think I'm going to do a run to 3000 or something like that. Go to 3000 blitz on chess 24 and then retire. What's going on here, guys? You're challenging me and then you're not making a move. My d4 is strong, but not so strong that you should sit there completely petrified like oh, oh my god d4 <laughs> okay just challenge me again no worries at all so there was a remark there by uh where is he the fighter 360 let's do this can we go for the scandy we can Where do we go now? I go to d6 then. Knight f6. And a6. Okay. I read the chat. On Twitch, on YouTube, on Facebook and on Chess24. Well, this looks kind of okay, right? I have a fairly good development. Um, I can even go c5 next. Yeah? Looks looks really good. Yeah, that cannot be the refutation of the Scandinavian. I mean, you cannot refute it anyway, but this feels like I have a really good good game here. Yeah? Um, yeah, Ezra says, um, no, Schachstratege says, don't forget playing chess. This is a good advice. Actually, um, if you sometimes see yeah, what, the, what the top players are able to do, um, and then you see the crap you're playing yourself, you really, um, yeah, what I sometimes say is, uh, we we only attempt to play chess. Yeah, we're not really able to do it. I thought um, yesterday the there was essentially blitz chess between Magnus and uh, and Fabiano. Right, they they played ten minutes uh, with an increment. So it is a, a bit longer than your typical blitz game, but still 
this is really really not a lot of time and the level of play was so great they only had serious mistakes when the time was super low and when this is kind of unavoidable but um, the general level of play is so fantastically high All right, I don't want to trade queens here. My queen looks strong and maybe I can do something there on the on the king side. Yeah, this I expected, but I thought it's not so good. Maybe it is good. Mm, bishop to f4. Hmm. Not so, not so easy actually. And c5 might be on the cards. Huh, how do we do that? Yeah, I mean, I can do that. Bishop f4 next. So um, no, I did not read Lasker's Manual of Chess. I think it's a classic book, but um, nothing that I read. There's just so much around. Um, yeah, this is a good remark there from uh, from the Facebook chat by Bruno. He says he um, just started to play chess. There should be some broadcasts for new players. You're absolutely right. You're absolutely right. There are so many new players uh, around and it's really difficult in my mind to um, yeah, do the right um, shows for the right people. Yeah, I mean, do something that um, everybody, um, everybody can use. What, what to recommend? for Bruno. Yeah, um, I think there should be more um, shows on Chess24 that are for your type of audience. I don't think currently there is much in English language. I know that there are some shows in um, German language that have more of a uh, more of a teaching character. I mean, my show here is more entertainment. I talk about the games, but I answer questions. And I should there should be more, I think, for the audience that you mentioned. So what do I do now? Knight to d5 maybe? In general, um, I mean, you're coming here from Facebook, your chat, Bruno. Um, I would also definitely just check Twitch channels. There's so much around maybe you find something that you can use. I also try to give some advice during my games here, but it is um, really difficult to um, get do, do everything at once, like reading all the chats and so on, give some chess playing advice, talk about the games, it's really a bit much. Um, such a show should be focused on, on one thing. Here I'm trying to win the b4 pawn, just attacking it twice. Maybe I can also move the queen again and put the knight onto f4, the square where the queen is currently positioned. Looks pretty, pretty good actually. Okay, let's take here. Knight c3 coming. Bishop f4 coming. I can also take here. Hmm. Bishop f4 looks good, but he can take the knight. It's not so clear, really.
What face cam am I using? I just have a regular Logitech webcam. Nothing, nothing fancy. I think the video quality is kind of, kind of normal. Nothing special, but it, it does the job. I don't win material yet here. Here we get the knight to c6. Yeah, prom knight. I saw the variation that you're that you're stating, but I don't think it was so clear. As the bishop on a three at the end has bishop b7 and stuff like that. I wasn't so sure. And if I just keep it like it is, I'm 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 just hugely better. I wasn't sure. Maybe you're right, and I could could win the material, but I just thought that. Um, it is totally enough what I'm having at the moment. You could be totally right. I mean, I sometimes have odd approaches to positions. <laughs> I can take here also. Take here. Uh, he's currently in huge time time scramble, so what he's achieving is not losing on time for the moment. Or trying to achieve. It was a question. Isn't there some kind of mate? <laughs> Rook H4 mate would be good somehow, but I don't get there. Yeah, thanks for the game, the Fighter 360. I mean, it's the Fighter. Yeah, the Fighter. <laughs> okay, so um, who else is challenging me? Is there some high-rated challenge for a change? Uh, this this person has challenged before. Let's do that. Sp Spingy Legner. Complicated name somehow. So D4. But he didn't make a move earlier. It's getting somewhat dark here. A little bit. Do I have this? Oops. So I try something else here. Knight c3, bishop f4. Yeah, this is what they do nowadays. It's um it's a valid line for white. A6. They normally take, I think, and then play a6. I have no clue. <laughs> I have no clue. So I'd like to prevent bishop g4. I'm kind of, I have really uh, no knowledge about this. Can I play g4 now maybe? Yes, the final of the Mr. Dodgy Invitational should be today. I think it's um, after my show, right? Um, yeah, my, my book, the Keep It Simple E4 is behind me, the yellow orange book. No, I'm not a grandmaster. I'm an international master. That is the title below grandmaster.
Well, it's like a so h5. Do I win some material? Probably yes. Yeah, the move bishop before is still interesting. Okay. Bishop e4, there's f3. Cover that. I think I do win some material. I actually could have taken the bishop here, maybe. But I don't really see what he's going to do now. Here. Maybe f3, queen c7 is his idea. That is actually true, yeah. Wait, just a moment. I'm going to win this anyway. Uh, but I should take the this should take the should take it. Okay. Queen takes e4 is a threat, so to cover that. Queen f4. <laughs> That's a good good question in Twitch chess, but I think uh, it's better answered by the man himself. Okay, now um, bishop here. Getting e4 would be nice. It's still a little bit of a... No one has castled. Is that usual for this opening? Yeah, this whole knight c3, bishop f4 uh, opening tends to lead to chaotic positions and this is no exception. So what to do here? Wow. This is still somewhat odd, right? It's not totally simple to win. Try to get the queen away from the fifth rank so that I can take f5. Quite clearly in this position, I will never have a conventional, let's say, king position. He takes c4, I'll take f5. That must be good. Ah, I guess I need more coffee. Yeah, that was certainly possible. Queen d3, I have rook h3. Yeah, now I wanted to take f5. That's a super odd position and uh, I hope I'm not doing something super stupid. Could happen. I mean, it's not this uh, complete chaos. It's not my typical brand of chess. I can also check here first. That's actually pretty good. Bishop g5. Ah, 
How is he covering? A queen c5, maybe. Ah, queen c5. Queen c5 is not actually so clear. Oh, okay. So I'm going to take this. And now bishop f1, I think. I can go back to to f7, actually. Okay. h6 is rook f7. And then bishop f1. Okay. Wow. Oh. Ah, that was stupid. Running right into that check. On c3, I mean. Huh. I don't believe it. He's, he's, he has escaped this. Crazy. Crazy. Unbelievable. Like there was so much, so winning for white and he has escaped it. <sighs> this is why I don't get to a reasonable rating on that side. I just play like a complete clown. Like this is like plus a million this position and I make a draw. I mean, I should probably just play something conservative, which is winning, like something like this, for example. I mean, black can safely resign, for example. Yeah, queen c5 is stronger even, yeah. But, but it's just kind of, I found, uh, found the only way to not win, probably, with, with this. Queen h3, there's queen g4 check. I couldn't go here. I mean, at least I'm not winning. Yeah. Now I'm not doing a deep analysis because I want to give more people the chance to play. Arimin is challenging me. He's got 2,900 and that means he can give me many points if I win. This is complete. This is um, wait. He took with a pawn. Okay, um, that was not what I wanted. I mean, that's wrong. That was not what I expected. This is the right way to phrase that. This kind of play is actually nowadays fairly uh, commonly seen. If the knight takes, yeah. Okay, here, what's going on here? Can we do something funny? I can check here and go to f5, but this is not threatening much. He might take it, huh? He might take it and then go knight e4. Hey, it's still completely, completely bonkers, so why not? I want this knight also on the king's side. Yeah, there were ideas with 
bishop g6 various ideas and I thought about it but I want to play knight g4 and then bishop h7 these these ideas are really dangerous wow he just gives me this pawn okay I'm taking it There's a question. If chess um, has given me some skill that can help you, f can help for life or work, um, I think that chess is helpful. The process of playing, not mastering the game itself, um, is helpful for maintaining long periods of focus. I think that is um, something that is useful for, in particular, if you have a line of work that requires you to be focused for a long time. You're just used to tackle complex issues and um, this is helpful. No, 93, I'm so stupid. I'm just, I'm just not paying attention if the game is totally winning already. Ah, that was so dumb. I mean, I was already so much better basically winning that I didn't look anymore. And then I just blunder the check. That makes no sense. I, d I didn't pay any attention anymore because it was so absurd that he gave me the pawn for absolutely nothing. I mean, and now I have to win the game again at least try to do it. It's not winning anymore. Yeah, that is in, indeed true. It is a timely, when when the discussion was becoming on, was about being focused that I make this stupid mistake. But that is not um, a matter of um, not being able to do that or being able to do that. I just didn't look. And now the position is awful, just awful. Uh, and he, he even has this check there. No, I'm just losing on time. Yeah, that was that was just utterly ridiculous. It was just like completely funny because he gave me a pawn for absolutely nothing and this position is more or less done and then I, I, I just play king e2 or something and it's over the knight is just going nowhere and I have knight d5 next yeah, just completely awful just do this and the knight is never going anywhere and like a3 goes back knight d5 g4 g5 done just very simply winning for white okay now who's challenging me escudella one is a new opponent and my rating is really terrible i mean like I have been too close to 3000 before. Yeah, 
Yeah, I know 2700 is not so bad, but it's just bad for what is, what is possible. There are many players on that side that I know that are um, just clearly worse, even in, in Blitz shares, clearly worse, who are on 3000. And I really don't know why I'm not getting there. <laughs> I mean, not 3000, but at least something reasonable. I do castle quite frequently, but uh, in some of the games it wasn't necessary, like in the one before, or not part of the general plan. Now let's see if I can do something here in the King's Indian. Would be good. It is the Petrosian variation on the King's Indian. What? Chess 24 doesn't need to change anything with the ELO algorithm. Why should they change anything? All the sites have different um, kind of rating levels depending on the number of players when they started the site, um, the, how many players are online and so on. Okay, rook b1. And um, this is a well known theoretical line. I have forgotten exactly, I think f5 takes and then f4. This is, I think, how it is played, but the last time I checked this, that's uh, years ago. So let's see. Yeah, a couple of things I can do. I can play just knight a2 and then b4. I can play knight to b5. Or you can regroup, bring the knight to e3. It's also an idea. Complicated. So knight here. Yes, knight g4. I wonder if I should simply take. This is not. It's not so clear if I should. Knight f1. Uh, maybe I should have just played h3 actually and stopped the knight to g4. That would have been better, I guess. This looks really nice for black. No, it doesn't. <laughs> Sorry, it doesn't. It's just a theoretical line that is usually believed to be equal. I think that white is better. I also have an excellent score there, but we'll see. In my mind, in the long run, the black king position should be a problem. But it's complicated, certainly. Now, um, do we somehow prepare before or not is the thing. Rook g1, yeah, I'm going to prepare before. Cover the g pawn. It was threatening to take e3 and g2, so I had to cover it. Mm, 
Okay, let's go before. Okay, queen d2, I guess. Where is the bishop going? Don't know. Takes it. Wow. Okay. Okay. Let's just cover that for the rest of the game. Yeah, this is more or less a winning position. Black has no play whatsoever, and I can play knight c3, c5, and so on. And uh, he also has a huge time problem. Now b7 is hanging, and I'm threatening c6 as well. takes with the pawn a6 is dropping so he goes into desperation mode um bishop c4 is also not bad <sighs> wins the queen yeah and he resigns thanks for the game escudella one now let's check what do we have here like eight minutes left it's already near an end this show is there a five minute challenge by somebody who i've never played before that played this person is there somebody Zamichella, I think I played before today, right? Cool. Tarik, did I play him before? I don't know. The Finn King, let's play the Finn King. I can also try a King Zinian with black. Get one. Yeah, it's just 2700 rating here on the side. My over the board ELO is of course lower. Yeah, that gives me the d4 pawn, huh? It's a little bit... It could still be somewhat... Could still be somewhat dangerous, maybe. Something like g4, this throw the kitchen sink attack. Okay, I'm going to just take the knight. Yeah, I think c5 is the main move, yeah, for sure. Here c5 is probably the best move even, but I'm not a I'm not an expert at all. King's Indian is not my normal opening. So here I still feel somewhat threatened <laughs> by what white is doing, even though it's probably not objectively correct. So take it here he might just play h5 but what can i do no he takes that okay queen h5 
queen g5. No, going there. Hmm. Okay. I don't know. I usually play the Nimzo Indian with black and various lines against knight a3 based stuff. I have written a book on the Nimzo and Bogo Indian, but I also play the Rogozin. I play more solid openings uh, normally. This is not my usual way of playing. And I want to mix it up a little bit in the banter sessions. Okay, I try to I want to play rook f7, h7, winning the queen. Bishop g4 could be interesting now. If I take it, queen g6 check, knight g7, h6, could be dangerous. It is dangerous. I play three and five minute games. Yeah, you found that. Now h6, rook f7 takes, rook takes. I probably get checkmated. I usually do if I'm playing such sharp stuff that I don't understand. Ah, that's true, I had king h8. You're absolutely right. Ah, this is made. This is made. That's really funny. I totally overlooked that king g7, rook 1, h7 is made. I knew before that I get mated because I, I simply cannot play like that. Yeah, like rook 1, h7 is made. That's funny. I mean, even though white's attack was, of course, entirely incorrect, I knew I would get checkmated because I just hate to have these kind of games played where the other guy just throws the kitchen sink and doesn't care. Yeah, okay, it was easy. I just have to go here and it's over. But uh, it's... <laughs> I, just, I just can't play stuff like that. I just can't play it. So there's one minute left only. Is there a bullet game that I could play? Probably not, yeah. No, I think I'm going to wrap it, wrap it up. Um, I'm going to continue right after that in a... Uh, in, uh, in, in a minute in the German language show. So thanks a lot for um, watching and um, I'll be back probably around next week, maybe next Saturday or Sunday. It's not yet scheduled. We'll have to see there's the chessable uh, tournament coming. Okay, guys, thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.